Good morning. Um, me and my Dorothy Hamill haircut. I am here in the great Pacific Northwest, the Puget Sound, Camano Island. You can't see it, but this is all water back here. It's just bright. And I am sitting, having my Thursday morning coffee. It's about, it's a little after seven. We're gonna be headed to the airport and I am headed home. I've been gone a week. Um, and I wanted to tell you some great things about this week. Like that. The sounds of nature that we maybe don't take um, notice of. Um, I've been taking in cool air for sure. Um, although it was 84 here yesterday and that's not allowed in the Pacific Northwest, but whatever. Um, so we've been gone a week. Um, we started with, no, no, come out. I have guests again, Emily and Lisa. Um, we started out like last week, how I told you, Terry Branch, my ring, my spinner ring that I love, love, love. We're already planning on a return trip for, oh, Terry Brush. I say Terry Branch or Terry Brunch. Sorry, it's Terry Brush. Um, so we had a great time there. The reason I couldn't do, like I said last week, is because um, we were on a reconnaissance mission. We were surprising our sweet friend Cindy from Paper Crown Waco. So once we got to Terry Brushes, I said it right, um, we had a great time. And then we came up here on Sunday, Sunday to Thursday. And we relaxed, we painted, um, Georgia's door. Tell Lisa to come out here. She'll be my guest. Um, we painted Georgia's door. If you saw on my stories, that was um, a gift for Georgia. She let us stay here all week. She would have whether we painted it or not. And um, oh, here's Maxie. Every time I go somewhere, people have pets. I won't pick my own dog up this way, but he doesn't weigh seven pounds like Maxie does. Um, learned that it's so important to take time to, um, oh, here he comes again. He must want to be on camera. Oh, actually he wants out. Um, take time to have a hobby. I appreciate everyone who's asking, can I have a ring? Can you make me a ring? Can you make me this or that? This is a hobby for me. If you want to learn this, I highly, highly recommend um, Terry Brush workshops. She has a lot online and she does a lot of workshops um, in her studio and also at Meg's at the Whatever Craft House. So um, I'm not gonna be making jewelry. It will be my hobby and we've already planned our trip for next year. So take time to have a hobby. Um, and maybe that's already easy for you. I mean, because this is a job for me, I I don't have hobbies anymore. Like I really, really want a scrapbook again. And I'm always, um, I'm always promoting Allie and all of her things and I want to um, really start up again. And so maybe that's what I'll do. When I'm thinking of scrapbooks, there was a fire very close to our house and it started um, two days ago. So I've been getting reports. Um, I haven't been that nervous because we're not in an evacuation zone, but we're close. Um, and I think about, okay, where are all my pictures? If I'm in Washington and there's a fire at my house, what do I tell John to take? We have a fire safe for all of our, um, like, passports, birth certificates, blah, blah, blah. But if I'm in another state and my house is on fire, what do I tell John to take? And that was what I was thinking. Where are all my scrapbooks? Um, where are all my pictures? Grab the computer. So um, I, I think because I've been on vacation for, a, well, not vacation. I will tell you, I did some really good work while I was on vacation. And that's important too. If you get up and away from your um, area, your home, your environment, wherever you work, and I happen to work at home that is under construction, um, it's good to get up and out of your space 
and create somewhere else. And I understand now why people that are writers go on retreats and they write because I think when you have this, whether it's this or it's the beach, well, this is the beach and this. This is kind of best of both worlds. Um, you can have, um, you can be relaxed, you can be um, open-minded, and this helps. Right, Emily? Cheers. So take some time away from your, even if it's going to a park. I remember the, the couple month ago, I went to the beach club and just took myself out of my surroundings and just getting away from the fact that there's background noise at home, there are jackhammers, um, whatever's going on. If you take yourself out of your surroundings and put yourself in a new surrounding and allow yourself to relax, you're going to create a little differently. Speaking of creating a little differently, we did a lot of beach walks and I found the most amazing heart rock, which I don't have with me or I'd show you. Also found one of these shells and I was the worst craft lady in the history of craft ladies. I feel like I need to glue gun a magnet on this. I painted the shell a rainbow. I just did. It's the most corny craft ever, but it's all right. I also painted a rock like this. I'm gonna leave here for Georgia. So, um, learned a lot of good things about myself. Learned very, very, I'm not learned, but I'm very grateful for my friends that are able to, um, we can travel together. We can um, have moments of angst. Um, and pee your pants, laugh moments, and all of the memories um, that we had together um, are important. And so I just wanted to remind you of those few things. Take some time for outdoor, for outdoor sounds. Um, here comes Maxie, he wants to be on the camera. Um, outdoor sounds like this. hear that that's why I did the sunset last night on live and just let it roll no words just hearing the the water on the rocks love on the rocks outdoor friends like spiders oh here's something I learned there was a giant bug in my room this morning and I just kind of squealed but Emily came to my rescue and kicked it out of the way now I couldn't kick it out of the way for myself good morning Georgia Aren't but, you cold? No, I'm just lovely. Okay. So Emily kicked it out of the way for myself, but I wouldn't have kicked it out. Just like I wouldn't have kicked it out of the way. It's all right. The sounds of nature. So my point was, you throw yourself in the middle of a train for a friend, but not for yourself. That's what Emily did. That's what I've learned my friends would do. That's what friends are supposed to do, right? That's what friends are for. Okay. I don't know. So anyway, this concludes early morning coffee talk on the deck of the Puget Sound, Camino Island, the home sweet home of Chuck and Georgia Harlow. So I will see you next week where I'll be back in the depths of Ash Town. Just pray for California. Okay, see you next week.